The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I'm William Meyer, joined by head cross-country coach Tyler Stepp. Coach Stepp, your team and this school is hosting its first ever Carson or cross country event here on the banks of Mossy Creek. What what does that mean to you getting to host the first ever event? Well, I mean, anytime you do anything for the first time, it's pretty special. So it's certainly been a learning experience for our staff and even for our kids. We're having to go through the process of running a meet for the first time. So it's exciting. Um, you know, I think it's going to go well. Everything's come t- together well. Everybody at the university has really helped me a lot on uh, getting all the things done that you have to do to host a meet. So we're excited. Now, the name of the meet is the Allen and Phyllis Morgan Battle at Mossy Creek Invitational. Um, how did you guys decide on that name going for this first home meet? Well, you know, um, Allen and Phyllis Morgan, I mean, they're the ones that made the whole thing down there at the creek possible. They, they're the ones that really uh, spearheaded that renovation process down there at the creek, and it's beautiful, and it's such a great place. And, you know, we thought it would be fitting for this first meet especially to, to kind of name it after them. And then the Battle at Mossy Creek part, um, you know, that kind of just pays tribute to some of the history that's gone on down there. And, you know, I know Coach Needs, being the director of track and field and cross country, does a lot with the history side of that. So, you know, we're kind of hitting on all fronts there. So we thought that would be pretty special. Now, going more into the race scenario, um, you have faced against a King squad and a Milligan team. Uh, what can you say about them facing them for the second time this season? Well, I mean, I think they're good teams. Um, you know, I think that Chris Lane at Milligan does does a really great job, and he's 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 established himself as a as a front running program. And uh, same deal with King. I know Desmond at King. I, I was um, at ETSU with him in college, and I know his character, and I know what kind of coach he is. So. Um, you know that they're going to come ready and they're going to run well. So we're excited um, for that challenge. Now going into team specifics, on the women's side, you've had a group of runners that stay consistently together and stay in kind of a pack mentality. What can you say about the girls' leadership and how they have managed to stay within that pack mentality throughout this season? Well, you know, I always talk about it in every interview with those girls. You know, they, they're a true team, uh, you know, and people think cross country and track and field is, a, is an individual sport, but those girls work better together than anybody I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, I don't really know what it is. I mean, they just truly have a bond and, and they, and they want to make each other better. So they always stick together and practice in the meets and it always ends up paying off. Now on the men's side, you have some top runners. Luke Greer has won the past two meets that he has raced in. And Kelvin Ronan is right there, generally in the top 10, top five or so. Um, what can you say about them leading your men's team and also uh, Amos Carrera and Anthony Jackson? Uh, you know, I'm just real proud of those guys. Those, um, those guys have really stepped up this year. And I think this is their second year in the new system working with Coach Brewer. Um, and you know, they kind of understand the expectations that we have. And they've really just taken, taken, taken off with the training that they're doing. You know, obviously, Luke, like we said, is 2-0 and on the season, won both the meets. And we're looking for him to win again this weekend. Uh, we believe he can. Um, Amos and, and Anthony Jackson and, and Kelvin, you know, those guys have been solid. They've been exactly what we needed them to be. They've, they've come home with some top 10 runs, and, and, you know, we're looking for them to do that again and, and you know, just continue to produce. Those guys really um, are confident in what they're doing right now, and we're very confident in them. So expecting a lot out of them. Thanks for your time, Coach. Appreciate you, man. He's head cross-country coach Tyler Sepp. I'm William Meyer, and this is the Eagles Sports Network.